Hello, it's Karen here with my take on this month's challenge, which is to use small photographs. And I've chosen two small photographs of my daughter, Gracia. Um, they are about two inches by two and three quarters. The paper range that I'm going to use is a graphic 45 one. And I think it's called Imagine. Yeah, Imagine. So I've got some little 3x4 journaling cards. Um, this piece here which is called Adventure Beckons, which is like that. This piece here which has these really pretty little butterflies on which of course will have to be cut fussy cut out. This one here which is Create Yourself and I'm thinking that I'm going to cut out the clusters of um, clock pieces and cogs and balloons. Cut a cutter of the, a couple of those clusters out um, to add to my page. I've got this one here, which has cut parts on the back, but I'm going to use this side as my main background. And then a piece of cream cardstock and. This one with all the roses that I'm going to fussy cut out. That one's called Beautiful Dreamer. And then I have this stencil, which is a Kaiser Craft stencil. I'm going to use some transparent gloss texture paste and some acrylic paint, which is called Pearl Medium. That one I got from the range. I got from Merly Impressions and I got the paper from Merly Impressions as well. A link at the end of the video. Um, in addition, um, I don't know whether I'm going to use them or not, but I also have some doilies and some paper blooms which go really nicely with that. The first thing I did was to cut a quarter of an inch off of the top on one side of the spotty paper and stick it onto the cream cardstock. I'm thinking that I'm going to use a couple of these cards as, I'm going to use that one as the title, Create Your Own Dream, and a couple of the cards as um, photo mounts. I'm just deciding which one oh, I like the postcard. So, these two are going to be the photo mounts, so I'm going to just play about with where I'm going to put the photographs. So what I'll do is I'll pop those on with foam pads in a minute, but I'll just get the placement for them. So I'm going to remove the photographs, mix up put some texture paste with the acrylic. So I've lightly marked with a pencil where the cards are going to go and that way I can lay my doily stencil where I want it. I'm going to have it here and here and use the um, texture paste that I've mixed with the pearl acrylic
now my texture paste dried I can get on to the next bit doesn't really matter about this smudged bit here because it's going to be covered up with cards and photographs so I had this one here and the little postcard there and then I wanted the photographs to go there and there so here you can see I've added my photographs on foam pads and also added the four little 3x4 journaling cards and what I'm going to do now is do my fussy cutting of the roses and the butterflies and the balloons so I'm quite sure you don't want to watch me do that so I'm off to watch a film do my fussy cutting and I'll be back in a mo so I've cut out um, a couple of the balloons uh, two little tags two clusters of flowers and some butterflies and I'm just going to now play about as to where I want the placement for those So there's the finished layout. I didn't actually use the, the doilies and the flowers that I'd um, pulled out to use. <coughs> I just used the cutout bits. So there we are. Lots of dimension and pop dots. <laughs> 